Well, good day, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Um, today we are doing part four of the building a knife sheath, and we are wet forming the leather sheath. So away we go. Um, all right. What we need to do to start with is protect the knife from the fact that we're going to be putting it in wet leather. Not as important with this one as it's stainless steel, brass, and it's a stabilized timber on the handle. So the water's not going to affect this one too bad. If we had a carbon steel and an unstabilized timber, you're going to get much more effect from the water. So what we want to do is just wrap it up just to keep it nice and protected I want to keep that wrapping fairly snug around it no big folds or anything because we want it to We don't want to create lumps that are going to end up in the leather. Okay, so we have our knife protected. We have our sheath ready to go. Glue's all dried on it. And if you see, we've got a couple of points here and here where those clamps were on. Uh, they will burnish out. As I said, you use a very soft gripping clamp so it's not leaving a deep indentation. Um, but we'll fix that up during the process. So we've got our water here. It's a nice warm water, a little bit above body temperature. And we put our sheath in there. And for this stage, we want it wet. Now this is what this is what I was talking about when we're forming, and we've got the already got that wax inside. It's going to stop. The water from penetrating from the inside out. And we're just trying to get it from the stage where it's a stiff piece of leather to becoming soft and pliable. So just working it a little, getting the fibers moving, giving the water a chance to soak into it. flexing it about right. that's pretty good there so we just empty any water that's in the sheath out again we're just trying to protect the blade as much as possible. I don't want to be shoving it into a puddle of water. It's only got some plastic wrap around it. If I shove it into a puddle, it's going to end up wet. So, just wiping the excess water off the outside. The water that we want is the water that's in the leather. Okay. Gently push the knife down. Make sure it's all the way down. Sit in place properly. OK, 
Okay, there it is. Again, as I'm squeezing, there's a little bit of extra moisture coming out of the leather. That's fine, I'll clean it up. Okay. Now to form it up, what I use is one of these, which is a bone forming tool. Um, it's not what you have to use. It's what I use, I do a few of them. So I got myself one of those. You can use a simple old teaspoon, coffee spoon for those in the States. You're just using the smooth edge just to push it down. You can use a polished piece of a hardwood so for the Australians that's a piece of red gum or something like that with and you want to sand it up to a high grit uh, for Americans Europeans everyone else uh, generally an oak just something with a Really dense sort of fibre to it. If you're using timber, as I said, you can use the spoon, it works. Um, but I have a bow former, so let's use that. All we're doing is we're pressing down around the handle down the spine of the knife just to keep it tight down that spine out on the edge where those clamp marks were we're pushing those clamp marks out as we do it because these are an ambidextrous sheath I work it from both sides. The sheath can sit on either side of the body for a left-handed or a right-handed person. If we do it evenly, then it will work to either side. Down the spine clamp marks just pushing in against the blade pushing in against the handle okay and it's this part up here where it grips the handle that's gonna give it the grip once we're finished that's the part that retains the knife in there. By doing that, it means we don't need a retention strap on the sheath, just the shape of the leather. We'll do it. Okay, that's us pretty much there. Uh, I will leave the knife in here for a couple of hours, let the leather start to dry out a bit lose the warmth that's in it. Uh, after a couple of hours, I'll pull it out because I like to protect the knife. Even with the stainless and that, good habits, you pull it out, then give it a couple more hours, put it back in, and just make sure it's all fitting well. Before I pull it out, I'll just go over it again while it's still got some heavy dampness to it and just bone it down again. And make sure it's all nice and snug. But this will take at least about two days to dry. And so it's going to be a couple days before I do the next video on this one. But if you're watching it a bit down the track, you can just go ahead and go to the next video in the series. Um, and I'd just like to thank everyone very much for watching. If you could please subscribe and hit the like button. Uh, 
hit that bell button so that you get notifications of when the next video is coming up and you can continue the journey with me in towards making this knife sheath. Thank you very much for your time. Bye.